Let's join Kratos and Atreus as they embark on an epic new quest to unleash more chaos in the mesmerizing world of God of War. In this new video walkthrough series, we dive deep into the latest adventures of the iconic duo, exploring their dynamic relationship and their intense battles, and capturing the essence of their journey as they confront the looming threat of Ragnarok to decide the fate of all the Nine Realms. Get ready for stunning graphics, immersive storytelling, heartwarming moments, intense battles, and jaw-dropping gameplay, as once again, we dive deep into the challenging world of God of War. Join me in this thrilling new adventure. Watch as Kratos and Atreus forge their destiny against all odds, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content on God of War and other exciting games. Hungry? What's next? Get them ready. You know? I hope Fenrir got some sleep. Maybe he'll be ready to eat when we get home. He is quite sick, Atreus. I know. He was a little better yesterday. Until he wasn't. If he keeps eating, I'm not giving up on him. Hear that? Yes. Is it her? It is her. The state is not far. Give up that. 
that easy. Would she? She never does. Stay alert. There she is! Dave, we made it. Let us go home. It's Becky. It's Vanna. Up. I'm sorry I couldn't take the shot. I did not wish you to. I keep hoping she'll let it go. You saved her life. I killed her son. There is no letting that go. Yeah. I guess killing Balder really did bring on Fimble Winter. It never stopped snowing after that day. Think it's ever gonna get better? Hmm. Someday. But the worst is still ahead of us. We must be strong. I don't hear him. He always says hello. Atreus. Fenrir. You okay, boy? Your food. 
Still hungry? Come on, boy. You need to eat. Eat. Why? Too big? He wants to live. He is dying. You're a good boy. A brave boy. Fast and strong. But you can rest now. Okay? I'll be okay. You can let go now. You have to let go. Sofna. Afra. Besu. Sofna. 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 train what no it's the middle of the night night does not stop our enemies why what for Tranking is all we ever do, ever. It's not enough. We can't hide forever. We do not hide. We prepare for a fight for which we are not ready. Oh, go. Time is running out. The prophecies say Fimblewinter leads to Ragnarok. War is coming. Whatever Loki's supposed to be doing, he's supposed to be doing it now. My story doesn't end hiding in these woods. I should be out there, finding out who I am, who Loki is. I will not allow you to pick a fight with God. I don't want to fight anyone. I just want answers. And if those answers lead to war with Asgard? Maybe that's what Mother wanted. We do not know what Mother wanted. Looks like we never will. Look. I have a moment alone with Fenrir before I bury him.
Well, I recognize that dour expression anywhere. Care to tell me what went wrong? The wolf is gone. Oh, no. Not Fenrir. How's the lad taking it? Not well. He goes to bury him. Oh, damn it. All right, brother. Good night, then. Kratos? Are you joining me? Are you ready? You walk as though Emir himself sits atop your shoulders. This is your hunt. I will follow. Very well, Grimbles. Fresh kill. At least it didn't suffer. Hmm. Am I to decipher your grunting? Tell me your thoughts. We hunt the predator. A wolf, yes. Predators kill. It is the natural order of things. Your words are misguided. Shh, shh, shh. Approach slowly. It's okay, little one. We want to help. Don't we? No, no don't! <sighs> Come on. The sick wolf we found beyond our stave. He found his way inside. As I said he would. We should have acted. It was not our concern. Now it is. The problem doesn't have to reach our doorstep for it to be our responsibility. If we have the power to limit the harm it could cause, we should act. Who are we to hide and do nothing? We are not hiding. Gonna make me pick that one up? Mm. Good boy.
Brother? Where's Atreus? Hence my bellowing. He never came back from burying the wolf. It's been some time. He could not be far. You suppose he took a shortcut through the realm between realms? No. The stones have not moved. Baldur's chasm is too unstable, brother. The lad wouldn't try it. This has not been opened. No prince this way either. <laughs> Let's see. Tracks heading down to the frozen river. That's most likely where he did the burying. He crawled through here. Fire's dwindling now. Where else could he have gone from here? Whoa. You seem troubled in your sleep, even for you. Nightmares? I dream of the past, almost every night. Ah, the bad old days in Greece? No, it feels like phase. Trying to tell me something. You don't mean to say you're talking to ghosts again, brother? No. But it is something more than memory. Hmm. Use your words, brother. The tracks stop here. And we're not alone. Right side! <laughs> should check on the protection state. There's a tree up ahead, yeah? Well? You were right. The stave is broken. Explains our trespassers. What happened here? A bear. Mauled. By what? A larger bear. Wounded. The fight destroyed the tree. We must find Atreus. Aye. Between the savage beasts and marauding raiders, he may have sought shelter. Follow the trail. We'll find him. Aha! Trail's on the other side of that gap, if you can clear the way. Any idea what could have made the lad wander off? We argued. He accuses me of... hiding from Odin. Eh, only sensible to keep a low profile after killing three of his kin. A reckoning will come. That is why Atreus must learn to survive on his own. Oh, this is about that prophecy. Just because the giants had you dead on some wall full of... otherwise accurate predictions... I do not believe in prophecies. Well, good. Skeptical by nature. 
though we have seen things that defy explanation. So, speaking as the smartest man alive, I've no bloody idea. You're thinking, brother, that Atreus can handle himself. You've taught him well. So he keeps telling me. <clears throat> Torches. And the trail leads into that cave. Well, we know where we are going. I'm sure we can find a quiet way in. Do that. Are these the raiders you rescued the wolves from? No. They have not been here long. goes through here, leads deeper in. There will be more. Well, someone got in the bear's way. Let's find a way out. <laughs> I 
Perhaps Atreus came here seeking shelter. Kept moving when he saw the raiders, and the bear came barreling after. Impressive rampage, I'll give it that. You think the bear was chasing Atreus? Well, just as likely the bear was hurt and Atreus was chasing it to help. You know the lad. Atreus, where are you? Well, we found the bear, or he found us. I prayed Fenrir, and then I'm, I'm not sure. I was so sad, and then I was angry and scared. I remember running. There was a bear. Charging and I charged back. That had to be a dream. Your emotions, they transformed you. Uh, I, I, I didn't know I could do that. taught me discipline. I need more than that. I need answers. Answers you don't have. Answers only your mother had. That's how she withheld. What if there was someone who could help us? Someone that could give us answers about the giants and who Loki's supposed to be? Atreus. Wouldn't it help to understand what I'm becoming? Atreus! Listen to me. Serious. 
Inaction is also a risk. You taught me that. Stop thinking like a father for a moment and start thinking like a general. No! Are we going to discuss the boy becoming a bear? Yeah, are we? Not now. We need to repair the protection stave and get home. What happened to the protection stave? You did. So you're blaming me? I am not blaming you, Atreus. Well, tell your voice that. the word, Father. Now! Besides your gift of language and hearing creatures' thoughts, are there any other new magical abilities to report? Not really. What of Fenrir? What about him? When he died, you cast a spell. No, I didn't. But I saw light. I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. Trick of Fimble Winter, perhaps. Seen my share. Oh, I recognize where we are now. What's with all the blood? Yours, Atreus. Seriously? That, or any prey you might have been dragging us. It was. Not sure that makes me feel any better. This one. Got her. 
Wow. A lot of those guys. It's been like this all night. You must have been inside the stave when I fixed it. Sometimes I really wish Tyr's temple still worked so we could get out of Midgard. They say Fimblewinter affects all <laughs> realms, lad. Okay, but how could things be any worse than here? Atreus! I'm just checking on... To bed! Yes, sir. As evenings go, that was entirely too eventful. Though I admit it was a bit like old times there, for a moment. The three of us navigating some hitherto unhappened upon patch of forest. Been a while since you've joined us, if that's what you mean. Ah, well, just tired, I suppose. You've seen one deer hunt, you've seen them all. How can you feel tired when you never sleep? There are other kinds of tired, lad. You'll see when you're older. Now have a proper rest, my brothers. Things are always brighter in the morning. Sure, we'll find lots to talk about. You could have told me before I poured. Why are you here? Uh, just uh, being polite. You seem like a calm, reasonable person. Calm. 
I'd say the moment calls for calm. <laughs> yeah. You know who I am? Back before winter set in, there were some misunderstandings. Regrettable ones. But I think we all have a better idea of who we're dealing with. Now, what you did to his boys. Self-defense. Dying is what we Aesir live for. And let's be honest, they were kind of useless. But Balder, he had value. He was my best tracker, my closer. Yeah, his mind was gone, sure. But he had his uses, and now he's gone because of you. You follow me? You have a debt. And you're no fun anymore. What do you want? How about peace? How does peace strike the esteemed, retired god of war? How about we just don't kill each other? How about you stay home, kick up your feet, seek no quarrel with me, and I'll have none with you? Of course, it means that that one, that one has to stop his search for tear. Yeah. We know what you've been up to. Stop it. Tears old ways are dead. He is dead. You understand? And then that's it. Then we're square. Shit, I'll even sweeten the deal. I'll let you keep the prisoner that I know you stole. <laughs> that's right. I know you're in here somewhere, you silver-tongued little shit. Why should we believe a word of you? What of your promises ever been worth? There he is, my old partner in crime. He's lost weight. If he tells you snow is white, he's lying. What kind of wisdom is that? Can't the smartest head alive see past himself? See that we all want the same thing? All right. Here's a deal I know you can trust. I'll settle your debt with my ex. Keep Freya off your back. Keep your boy safe. That's really all you want, isn't it? So what do you say? Don't take all day. Without your axe, coward! 
I did not seek that fight with your brother. I don't care. You know my task. The ghost of Sparta thing. Yeah. Let's go what I'm capable of. Now we got us a fight! Was hoping to see your blade! Guess they don't come when you call! How were you ever a god of war? If you're not fighting dirty, you're not fighting, right? Your son struck first! Good! You insult me holding back like this! What had luck? Did my son die? She blind fucking luck. Oh, dumbass! You think you can come here, become a daddy, get a clean slate? That ain't how it works. You're a destroyer, like me. Oh no. I say when we're done. I'm not leaving till I see the real you. Get up! Now we're talking! Clever! Clever! 
sons fell to you. Even this lesser version of you. But I am not my sons. And your boy, all father, has plans for him. <laughs> Consider your blood debt paid. Let's see it yet. Told you he'd make it! Kratos! It's Sindri and Brock. That was quite a fight. Can we... Oh, now! Odin is with Atreus. Oh, no. I'll go get a gateway ready. Come on, then. Ain't a long walk. It's Sindri and Brock. That was quite a fight. Can we... Oh, now! Odin is with Atreus. Oh, no. I'll go get a gateway ready. Come on, then. Ain't a long walk. <sighs> well, good to see you making new friends. Ain't that me old near pack a punch? You know we made that hammer, right? You have mentioned it. I know that. Wasn't ever sure you were listening. At least it was good to see the axe hold their own. Kind of the point. All set. This'll get you home. No use trying to bifrog your way around the realms. Odin's got them locked down tight. Or ain't you noticed? Hey, one last thing there, Tiny. If you got Aesir at your door, then I reckon your protection stays busted. Once you chase Odin off, you got another place to lay your head tonight? And I don't mean that talking, though. We will not abandon my home. Oh, yeah? And what's to stop the all fucker from spying on you? Or Raven pecking your house to splinters while you're asleep in it? Nothing, that's what. You go get your boy, and I'll speak to a certain someone about putting you up at his place in a pinch. I was about to look for you. Are you hurt? Are you? What does he want? To uh, pay for the roof. And he invited me to Asgard. Did he? I couldn't hear once he went outside. I told him no. Obviously. Good. Why were you searching for Tia? If I told you I was looking for him, you would have said not to. So you hid the truth from me? I wanted to tell you. I really did, but now that you know, there's something you should see. No. Just trust me, you'll want to. You have broken my trust. Then let me regain it. Let me show you what I found. Besides, we haven't seen the last of Odin or Thor. 
And clearly they can just walk in and blast holes in our home whenever they want. There's only one way to get them off our backs. I think I know how. Sir. Change your bastard! Where are we going? The old temple in the Wildwood. Why? It'll be easier to explain once we're there. Go didn't say anything else while you were outside. Yeah. He said he doesn't care about Jotunheim anymore that the Giants can keep their secrets. He's averted Ragnarok his own way. You think he knows all the Giants are dead? I'm more concerned that it no longer matters to you. <laughs> What's he up to? <laughs> what happened here? So close to home. Our feet are warring with one another now. Those are not their arrows. Something else is out here. Over here, and fresh. Did they all get in while the state was down? That, or Odin cocked up the protection spell altogether. Almost to the bridge. Oh, yes, the bridge gave out. Gonna need another path to the temple. Why would you come out this way alone? I had dreams calling me here. Dreams. Whoa. Everyone's still alive. No. Look closer. <sighs> Hell Raiders now? <laughs> Over! Suppose it's too much to hope that an enemy of theirs would be a friend of ours. You see something down there? That. Something strong and dangerous. Be on guard. Oh yeah, being all the way on guard. Watch out! When did this bridge collapse? Oh, a while ago. Wasn't me. Temple now. Just need to find a way around. Whatever it is, it works fast. <laughs> Oh! 
Remember when I said there was someone who might help us get answers about the Giants and Loki? You mean Tyr, the old god of war in these lands, who is dead. Well, for a dead man, Odin seemed pretty keen on seeing he wasn't found. Right? He knows Tyr could unite the realms against him. Plus, Tyr was the Giants' greatest ally. So... Enough. Still putting up offering soda. I don't think he cares. Look out! Well, dead rather swiftly. Pillar wasn't in the way last time I came. <laughs> like I was saying, here was an ally to the giant. So he'd be on our side if we find him. And if anyone might know who I'm supposed to be, it's him. If he's out there, we gotta find him. How can we not? Those are many ifs, Atreus. What do you know? You'll see soon. Imagine what the lads found, but he says he has evidence. We've come this far. Let's see it. Many dead here. We should keep moving. Too late. Father! Use your blade! Burn that! <laughs>
Isn't it nice how Fimblewinter wore down all the helpful magic we acquired? Yet somehow new terrors only flourish, as if on cue. Kill Winterman. Yep, you got it. Wonder who they mean. We climb. On it. Ah, he has gotten rather good at that. <sighs> Yet another grizzly scene. <laughs> I've seen my share of bloodshed, but this is an awful lot for one morning. Oh no! Brother! Freya, the Raider, Storm Odin, Bardigan, and now Stalker playing in our woods. This is no safe haven anymore. Mom gave you. Thor damaged it. But now. Perhaps the dwarves could take a look at it. Perhaps. Later. Come on. We can get in this way. <laughs> Why are we here, Atreus? Okay. You remember all those shrines we found? Telling the stories of giants, how the panel on the left would be their origin, and the panel on the right would be their fate? Yes. We found many. I have seen them. Well, there's more to them than we realize. Well, the collapsed pillar is new, but the shrine is just on the other side. Come on. 
You watching? Well, that's new. Come on. Atreus, wait! Yeah, I don't think he's waiting. What is this, lad? Where are we? Somewhere only giants were meant to see. These shrines tell their stories to the world. But it turns out the real stories, the secret stories, those they kept here, inside. You remember the story of Skull and Hati? The wolf giants? Odin captured them because he thinks it'll help him control when Ragnarok starts. I remember. But that's not the whole story. See, this shows the giants setting Skull and Hati free. They're free? Is this the past or the future? Depends when you're looking at it. Spoken like a giant. See? The wolves are safe. Somewhere in Vanaheim. It's not the first place Odin would look, I suppose. There they are, chasing the sun and moon. Old habits. Until, look, the moon gets stolen. Somehow. Atreus. See? Hati's got nothing to chase. And they say celestial theft is a victimless crime. Not totally sure who this is, but someone comes along and rescues the moon. And then the moon blocks out the sun. A total eclipse. I haven't seen one of those in a hundred winters. But then they chase an arrow, and things go back to normal. What does any of this have to do with... We're coming to that. Look, here's Ragnarok. Do you see who's leading the armies against Odin? That's Tyr. If he's gonna be around at Ragnarok, that means he's gotta be alive. Right? Mimir. Can this be? Odin told me he killed Tyr, and he trusted me at the time, or so I thought. What if he didn't kill him? What if he's just had him locked up somewhere all this time? We are back to ifs. Enough. Wait! We are going home. Wait! I have one more thing to show you. It's just out here. What is this? Everything I found. Well, almost everything. That's giant craftsmanship. You've been to Jotunheim again? No. I found it in one of the other shrines. Other shrines? How many have you visited? I... well... all of them? All the ones I could still get to in Midgard anyway. I don't know what it is, but it's important. Just like all this. When I was inside one of the shrines, I saw an image of Tyr imprisoned, but I couldn't tell where. There are hints inside the other shrines. You mention black smoke and the bleeding earth, but we can never figure out exactly. We. Sindri's been helping me. Look, I talked him into it. it. It wasn't his idea. I just needed someone to watch my back. Black smoke. Bleeding earth. Could the prison be in Muspelheim? Unlikely. Odin's got no presence to speak of in the primordial realms. But the bleeding out? Sounds like a mine eye. Uh, the realm of the dwarves, perhaps. Svartalfheim, that's a good bet. Their minds did belch black smoke, and Odin's had his thumb on the dwarves for a very long time. That's it then. Tears in Svartalfheim somewhere, imprisoned in a mine. So? What now? 
home. This way. Lad, even if we consider looking for Tia, how do you have us getting to Svartalfine? You know Odin's had all travel between realms locked up tight. Sindri said he had an idea or two about that. Sindri is full of ideas. Huh. Ground looks kind of cracked there. Remember when we fought our first troll out this way? I remember you lost control. We must tread carefully, brother. Danger is close. You okay fighting without a shield? It is not my first time. Ah, back to smashing through things for fun and profit. Lovely. <laughs> Mumia, what did you hear of Odin's offer? To the lad? Not much. They stepped outside. But he told us about it. I wouldn't worry. What about the things he did not tell us? Don't hold the lad's curiosity against him. It goes with being young. In my youth, we learned obedience. And is that what you wish for him? Brother, he's going to walk his own path. If you don't want him walking away from you, then smarten up and walk with him a while. Hmm. If we could find a way to open Rome travel to Spartalfarm, I bet there'd be all sorts of useful equipment for us to... Enough. We will go. Really? But if we do not find Tyr, you will abandon your search for good. All right. You won't <clears throat> be sorry. <clears throat> Kratos! Over here! Sentry! I live and breathe. Is that Atreus? It's been so long. <gasps> How you've grown. <laughs> uh, oh, <well>, yeah. <clears throat> well, if you'll follow me, Brock mentioned you needed somewhere safe to spend the night, and I believe your favorite dwarves can help you out with that. We're still your favorite dwarves, right? You're still the only dwarves we know. I'll take it. After you, my friends. 
Where are we going? The cleanest cabin in all the Nine Realms. And I'd prefer it to stay that way. Not looking at anyone in particular. Kratos. <clears throat> After that Thor incident, we thought we should make up some rooms. Till you can figure out your next moves. Nearly there. Huh. Huh. As you can see, we've settled here in the Realm Between Realms. It's nothing much, but it's safe from Fimblewinter, safe from Odin's eyes. And you really can't beat the view if you're into shimmering gray voids. That's amazing, Sin. We have a plan to talk to you about, actually. Intriguing. Just wipe your feet very thoroughly. I'll wait. You're not gonna wipe your feet, are you? Okay then. If your bedrooms are there, the kitchen is just over there. Any anybody need a snack? Kratos? Snack? I do not need a snack. What we need is your help getting to Sparto Farm so we can try and rescue Tyr. To Tyr? Al alive? I mean that's what? It it's okay. I told him everything. Everything? You waited my son and disobey me. No, I, I kept an eye on him. On your behalf. Nothing risky, everything very safe. Somebody else speak. What's important right now is that we try and open up travel between realms again. You said you know a way? Yes, I do. I just, it's just, there's, it's just a lot of mud. Then why haven't you opened the way already, man? Well, to be frank, there was something we needed your help with. Oh! The Holder brothers finally require the services of the smartest man alive. That's it precisely. Hey! Not so fast. How'd that get in here? What the hell is it anyway? That is my son. Well, what in all yarns me the happen to him? He's too damn tall now. And he looks like that I blame you now come on then let's get him something that fits at least he's just getting older you dark prat didn't you ever have an awkward phase in your youth hey I suppose what's done is done but you'll be putting your foot down from now on if you know what's good oh he's trying believe me all right let's gear you fuckers up before you go off gallop Mmm. Busted up good. <laughs> Wouldn't you rather I just whip you up a new one? It is important to me. Well, I'll see what I can do. In the meanwhile, how about I fix you up with something to get you by? This place is great, Sindri. You built it all yourself? You know it. Finding everything all right, I hope? How do we unlock the realms? We'll just need something from back at the workshop. Follow me, and be sure to bring the head. <laughs> so, where exactly is Tyr being held? He is imprisoned in a mine somewhere. That's all we know so far. Hmm. The realm is... Full of minds, you realize. You'll need help narrowing it down. Oh, you should talk to Durlin. Who's Durlin? He's a cousin of ours, sort of. Works for the city on safety issues. Should have access to all kinds of information on minds. And I know he's no friend of Odin. That's why your mother sought his help when she was trying to whip up a rebellion. Ready? A rebellion? Did you know about that? I did not. A rebel leader who knew mom. Sounds like exactly what we need. I think you missed the ta-da. Well, never mind. I'll have this oiled up in no time. Meet you at the gateway outside. Rebel leader, Derlin? <laughs> if that ain't giving a hound a haircut. Huh? And you- Betray us. All right. See you out there, Sindri. 
You hear that? We'll just need the Bifrost in the head. Brock? Do the touching. Oh, this would be the part requiring my assistance, then. You said it. This device here has been crafted to your measurements. It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those Bifrost eyes of yours. So I... Uh, do I control this thing somehow, then? Oh, no, 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 no. This is just to hold you in place while we shine this light in your eyes. Oh! Oh, Cindy, a sodding bastard! <laughs> Open! Open now! I was really hoping not to use the eyelid clamps. Do it! <laughs> oh! That's it! That's it! Good! Now... Release! Still on poison! Oh, that's our cue! Come on, hurry! I'm coming, I'm coming! Grasslock of eggs, man! What was that for? You'll see soon enough. Just... <gasps> there! That should do it! See? No permanent damage. I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck! Kratos! Throw me at him! Horns first! <laughs> Case you takes a joke, you old goat! <laughs> the Bifrost is broken. Now that we've reconfigured these gateways to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. I also used it for light. Okay. Good note. I'll figure something out, but first... Come on. Let me show you how it works. Okay. Aim your key at the rune for Svartalfheim on the right. Then concentrate. This should take you to the wetlands outside Nidavellir City. Just make your way to the town square and ask for Durlin at the tavern. You sure they'll know him at the tavern? Durlin's always been an inveterate inebriate. I suppose he might have completely changed, but in my experience, eh. Did you want to come with us? Oh, I might drop in, but the wetlands are moist. And the Grim are everywhere. Hostile, slimy, foul-smelling creatures. But good luck! Thanks. Wait, what? I said good luck! Feel that? What's that, lad? Anything. Everything. It's warm. 